guys! Welcome back to my channel. And if I look the same as in my past video, that is because it is the same day. I am testing out my CoverGirl foundation and I figured why not do it along with the BoxyCharm video because I always have to end up putting foundation on before anyways, so two birds, one stone, perfect. So today I have yet another boxy charm, and I absolutely love these. I hope you all do as well. This is the one for March, so let's just open this guy up here. Ooh, okay, let's put it down. <laughs> all right, so first thing I see, La Vie en Rose. This is so cute because for those of you who don't know, I actually lived in Paris for a little while. I worked Paris Fashion Week, and it was so much fun. So they've got some macaroons on here. And oh, that's so cute. Let's see what. So I have the first edition. If I can see that all the way down there. So let's just go through this, shall we? At the very top, I see these brushes. So it's the Moda Powder and Soft Glow. Brush set, excellent for wet and dry products, waterproof metallic candles, ooh, 100% vegan, awesome. So one is for powder and the other one is for highlighters. I can see that on the back. So that's actually really nice. I needed a new powder brush and I just purchased a highlighter brush but I only have that one so I could always use another one. So these MSRP for $29.99 and I've never heard of this brand before but I'm super interested to try it out. Let me just open this. This box is kind of banged up. So they're like rose gold aluminum looking. So they come individually wrapped. They've got a nice weight to them. So this is the highlighter and then this is the powder. I really like those, they're so cute. Very cute. All right, so that's the first thing. And now um, the second thing I see is this Wander Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. So containing a blend of skin loving acai, goji berry, blueberry, lychee, mango Dean. green tea leaf extracts water beauty lift off purifying brightening peel off mask instantly purifies and replenishes dull skin i actually am really excited about this because a this is like such a big size how much is this 2.2 ounces 60 milliliters usually when they give masks they're kind of skimpy but this is a good size. I'm definitely gonna try this out for you. I'll insert a clip towards the end after I take all my makeup off, but like I've been saying a million and one times, I'm a broken record, but my skin has been so dull, so dry, so this sounds like exactly what I need. It MSRPs for $34, so I'm so excited about this. I kind of want to smell it. Oh, it's got a little seal on it. I mean, that's good that it has a seal on it, but ooh. It smells so good. It smells like fruit juice and oh, it smells good. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. So we have another Ofra liquid lipstick. I'm pretty sure I got one of these two months ago or something. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Ofra liquid lipsticks, but it's kind of strange to me that they've sent me two now. I kind of joined this to get different products and things. This is a different one. The other one was the plain matte lipstick and this is the metallic. So I have it in the color Monaco. So if you can see it, it's kind of metallic. And I, I haven't tried any of the metallic ones, so that's kind of exciting. So it's $20, it says the basic things about Ofra lipsticks. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Appeal, this is gigantic, whatever this is. Appeal liquid eyeshadow. This is a liquid eyeshadow? This is huge. I thought it was gonna be like a lip topper or something. Liquid eyeshadow in gold, okay? Um, and this is $21. So, they've been giving a lot of liquid eyeshadows as well. I'm not the type of person that likes liquid eyeshadows. I don't really use them. This is now the, like, maybe the third box that I've gotten a liquid eyeshadow. I know that you guys like me to try out the products afterwards and I love to do that for you but to be honest I don't think that I'm going to open this one it's really pretty and it's so much like how, how many 
What's the size of this? 6.5 grams, 0.23 ounces. It's a, it's a large size. I'd rather save this and put it in a um, giveaway for you guys, one of my boxes that I'm making for um, when I hit 200 subscribers. I really love to give this away to you guys. It looks like a really gorgeous color. If I know that I'm not going to use it and that one of you might be able to use it, I'd rather just give it to you instead of just put it on my eyes and use it once. So I'm just going to put this to the side. I'll just show you the color because it really is pretty. But I mean, to be honest, I'm very tired of getting liquid eyeshadows. Uh, so that was one, two, three, four things. And then now there's something else covered up in here. Let's see. Oh, jeez. Oh. So it's Cover Effects something. Woo! So it's the Cover FX Face Perfecting Palette, and this MSRP is for $45. This is so pretty. Look at all that. So it comes with a highlighter, a brightener, another highlighter, a blush, a finishing powder, and a contour powder. That is so cute. I've never tried any of the Cover FX powders, I don't think. So I'm really excited for that. I haven't even powdered my face yet, so this is perfect. Wow, I really like that. Okay, so I'm definitely going to use that to finish my face. And now that is everything I have. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on my face. I'm going to do my eyebrows though, because that's really annoying me. So be right back. All right, so opening up the brushes. That's so soft. So soft. Powder brush. Very dense, very soft. So now I'm gonna go ahead with the finishing powder. I am a little bit worried because it looks kind of dark right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my face with my new powder brush. So let's tap into that. And I'm gonna put that on my face. It's kind of pinky. Oh yeah, I do not think I like that. But it also might be this foundation. I'm trying a new foundation, so it's hard to tell if it's the foundation or if it's the powder. So, I don't know. It looks cakey on my skin. Um, it's got little specks in it from what I can see in the pad, so it looks like it might be like type of a illumination powder, but uh, yep, yeah, this is what it looks like right now. Now I'm going to go in with this contour color, and I have my brush, so we'll see if this is the right color for me. Not bad. This would be a really, really great traveling palette because everything is in here. I've never had a palette that has a powder and everything in it. Like I've had one that has blush and a contour and a highlighter but never the powder in here. So that would be really helpful. I like this color. It looks really natural and nice and it blends out pretty well. Chin. Double chin. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. So now, blush time. Kind of, oh my gosh. That scares me. Um, that is bright. That is scary. That is a scary blush. Okay, well. I'm going to need to blend that out a little bit with my... So, good thing I have this other brush here that I brought in because I didn't know if I was going to get brushes or something like that. So, I'm going to blend it out with that because I don't necessarily want this pink on my powder brush. I don't usually go for blushes that are that bright and pigmented, but if that's something you're into, this is a really nice color. 
It's just not something that I usually go for. Now that I know that though, I can kind of tailor it and use, like, use it in the future. So, all right, I got two highlighters and a brightener. So I have a kind of pinky one and then a kind of coppery one. I mean, goldy one. I think I'm gonna use the gold colored one, which is called Divine. And then I have this brightener to put on top, which is Moonbeam. So I'm gonna use this Divine highlighter with my highlighter brush. We'll see what this brush can do. It doesn't look like it's picking anything up, but maybe, maybe it's lying to me. Uh, I think that this might not be a great brush. Yeah, let's see. And when I push the bristles together, it looks better. I think this brush might be just like a little bit too flimsy because when I pushed the bristles together, it was a lot better than when it wasn't. I think I prefer my Dollar AOA highlighter brush to this. The highlight itself is pretty. It's a little bit dark for my skin tone, so I'm glad that they have this brightener to put on top of it. So let's hope that that does something. All right, I see that getting on the brush. Ooh, there we go. I see that. Brightener is bright. <laughs> now that is my face. And I think, what am I gonna do next? Oh, my eyes, duh, my eyes. So I just have my Soap X palette. I'm gonna do something super easy. I'm not focusing on my eyes today. I'm probably just gonna go in with this color. I don't have the sheet in front of me, so I'm gonna go in with this color and then um, maybe just put a little bit of the Divine highlighter from the Cover FX in the corner. So I'll just do that real quick. All right, what is this hair doing? I don't know, I was too lazy to do it today. For the paste de resistance, over liquid lipstick. Try to be neutral today and now I have metallic lips. Here we go. The color is actually really pretty, but I don't, I don't wear metallic, I just don't. But it's Ofra and I, love their formula, so maybe if I was going to, this would be it. Like all Ofra lipsticks, it smells like cake. It's not the most pigmented. It looks like it's super pigmented in the mirror, but it's kind of streaky when I'm putting it on. Usually their lipsticks are really thick, and this is kind of not. It's the best I'm gonna do. All right, so this is the full face that I've created for you using all of my March BoxyCharm products. And like I said, I'm going to be inserting a clip using this. All right, so I have the face mask on. As you can see, it's this kind of rose gold color. As it dries, it's kind of drying down a dark pink. So now I just gotta leave this on my face for 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll peel it off and I'll let you know how my skin feels. All right, I look so beautiful right now with my turvy twist because I got out of the shower, but time to peel this off, I can hardly talk. I hope it doesn't hurt because I do not feel like dealing with that right now. Wish me luck. Update. It is hurting. Ow. To peel off. But I'm doing it. This is so gross. Ew. Oh yeah. This is painful. Ow. So my face is so red right now. Does it feel smoother? Yes. Do I feel like I just waxed my entire face? Yes. That was so painful. 
on the back of the entire face mask there was little hair so I feel like I actually did wax my entire face that was like a super intense mask that I was not expecting because it was supposed to be for like brightening and hydrating that type of thing and I have another hydrating mask that I just put on and it peels off and it kind of peels off easily and it hydrates so I just really wasn't expecting that my skin is super smooth right now, but it's just so raw. I would never do this face mask before putting anything on it because I feel like my entire skin is just open now and I would not want to put anything over top of it other than my um, moisturizer, which I just did. But yeah, that is a really rough mask, so just keep that in mind if you're wanting to try it. All in all, this box was pretty good. I mean... It had products in it that I liked. I'm not saying that it was a bad thing that I got another Oprah liquid lipstick, but I already got one of them in a previous box, so it's just not really original. And the whole liquid eyeshadow, you know my stance on that. I don't use them. It's now many boxes that I've gotten this, but I absolutely loved the Cover FX palette, loved the brushes, just something new that I've had, and I haven't even tried this but it seems like something that I'm gonna really love and I just need a mask like this so I'm really excited about that but stay tuned for the next month's boxy charm and as always thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video love you guys